here. This is a dog named Ozzy. Ozzy came in for training just about two weeks ago. In fact, tomorrow will be exactly two weeks. Uh, Ozzy's got some pretty big aggression issues and you're gonna see in the beginning of the video he's wearing a muzzle. That's because at the first lesson when I went to his uh, owner's home to work with him, uh, he pretty much nailed me a bunch of times and uh, ruined a brand new winter jacket in the process too. I mean, it was a really fun day, really just a great, great day. And so his owners opted to send him in for training. And uh, as I said, he's been with me for just about two weeks now and he's come such a long way and I'm so proud of this dog. And he's really such a good boy. And uh, well, I'm just gonna show you him at work and I'll explain to you along the way the steps we've taken to help correct the issues he's got and uh, let you see for yourself how far he's come. So here's Ozzy on the first day he came into the kennel. And as you can see, I've got a muzzle on him. I just called him over to me and he comes bounding over, he's happy. Right, his body language says, happy dog. And he's learning to stay with me, and this is what I opted to start with, was just stay with me, be near me, follow me. So now I'm calling him, he had a little pause, and then here he comes again, happy boy again. Okay, this is all day one, and I just wanted to keep it nice and light. There he is, nosing my camera, giving me a little kiss. So you can see, he feels good about where he is. He's being very affectionate, he's very loose, he's climbing up on me. I mean, he couldn't possibly be more comfortable. Uh, doesn't love his muzzle, but that's okay, because my plan was not to use it forever. So now I'm teaching him to follow me. And you can see he's attentive. He's not sniffing the ground. He certainly started by sniffing the ground. It, it took a while to get him to stop, but by now he's not sniffing anymore. He's walking where I walk, I bring him to the door, I stop, I walk away. There he is walking through my legs. Okay, this is not a comfortable way to go for a walk. This is not my long-term plan for Ozzy. But right now I'll take it. It's great. All I wanted in the first couple of days was to teach him to cooperate with me. Right? I want the dog to feel like we're on the same team. We're working for a common goal. As long as you're working with me, everything's cool. Everything's good. So we stop. Little pause. Let's see where we go next. Start to walk off again. There's my dog following me. He doesn't know where to put his body. Sometimes he's on the left, on the right. Very often he was in between my legs. I'd love to tell you I'm 6'2", but in reality I'm not quite 6'2". Not even quite 5'8". So when he walks in between my legs, it's not really comfortable for me, but it's okay. And as you can see there, he's wrapped up in his leash. Rule number one, if you want to learn anything from this video, Dogs get caught in patterns, and very often they get caught in their patterns totally by fluke. They try something, they don't know why they tried it. If you ask them if they could speak, they wouldn't even know why. They try something and it works, and then therefore they repeat it anytime they're in that same situation. So I'm trying to show him that anything he does while he's walking with me is okay. The objective is just keep moving. Walk on the right, okay. Walk in between my feet, okay. Jump on me, okay. Get wrapped up in the leash. All right, we'll do that too. So as you can see, we take little frequent breaks. I wanna stop, I wanna encourage him. Like I said, I'm trying to build that attitude of teamwork, of togetherness. I want the dog to really like me. I want him to trust me. He needs to feel safe. There, I've just dropped my camera. It's not easy to be a trainer and a cameraman all at once. So here we go, wipe it off and we'll, we'll start over. So Ozzy bit me, or tried to rather, um, over here the day before when I wanted to take him away from the door. He had enough of training, things were going well, started to walk in and I wanted him to turn around and he wasn't having it. So he just went after me and even in the muzzle, he was ferocious, he was trying to go after me. So here I am using the open door, that's kind of a crab walk but whatever. Um, using the open door as a distraction to see will he repeat the, the attempt to bite. And no, nope, he's gonna walk with me, he's gonna follow, he's kind of bouncy and playful and loose. You can see his overall body language is really nice. Now I call him back out while he's trying to play. He was trying to get Paul to take off his muzzle there. I call him out, he comes running out. At this point I clenched my fist and I made like a yes! Like I, I knew I had this dog now. Now that he did that for me, with no aggression and with a nice, kind of relaxed, loose body language, I knew we were on the right track. So here we come in and We've been working on place a little bit and I decided to change it up on him. I subbed out 
his normal place bed for a really small bed, a bed that I would use for a dog half his size. And as you can see, he's not enjoying it. He keeps trying to get off. And I did this on purpose. I wanted to push him around a little bit. I wanted to take him outside his comfort zone here. So you can see him struggle with it a little bit, but he's very clever. When I correct him and I tell him place, he knows how to turn around and go back, and he's very compliant. He's just kind of checking, like, do I really, really have to? So I go over now to give him a little encouragement, to tell him what a good dog he is. And Ozzy's an affectionate guy. He'll pretty much never miss a chance to lick your face if you offer it to him. So here I am sending him back. And he goes back, and we've got the other dogs in their kennels. So lots to see and smell and check out and super compliant now. You can see his body language is very, very relaxed. He's not tense. He keeps nosing my camera. That's good. You can see very loose body language. Very important when you're working with dogs with aggression issues. You want to see that they look nice and loose. So loose can be bouncy and playful. Loose can even be kind of bored and tired. Like right now you can see... It's different than when we were outside and he was kind of bouncing around. Now he looks like he's kind of coming down. You know, kind of like the way we feel after a long day. You can see he's unwinding. But that's good. Loose is always good. Got one of his rear legs broken at a dog park. The minute you're working with an aggressive dog and he starts to look tense, the owner was you better be ready. Last, last Friday. Yeah, this one came to be ready. So here you can yeah. see he's really so coming down. We've been at it for a while now, probably a little over an hour. Uh, between his heel and his coming his place and he's probably been doing place and, sure enough, at the end of our and holding place for a good 15 20 minutes and i'm sure he'd like to lie down right, look he's you can almost see he's starting to drift my bulldog does this my clara my cow her head will kind of dip and nod not unlike some of us when we're watching tv and then we Try and pretend that we're still awake when okay? people call us out on it. So here we are, big day. This is not quite two weeks into his training. He's working off leash. No more muzzle. We've had the muzzle off for well over a week already. Look at him, nice and loose. I'm playing with him. We're being very physical with each other. Ozzy's a very physical dog. He'll lean into you. He'll knock you over when he leans into you. Look at him come and bounce, right? And he sees him getting all suited up. I'm going to put on his leash. Look at the attitude. Just wonderful. I'm going to give him a heel command. We're going to start to walk. Look at his tail. Nice and loose. So we went from a dog that was in a muzzle and walking in between my legs and tying me up with the leash and jumping on me. and It was just a big mess. But again, in the beginning, as long as he wasn't trying to bite, I was okay with the mess. But look now, no more mess. And look at how attentive he is. Look at how he keeps checking me out. So you'll notice I talk to him a lot. See, he was just on the right. I'm going to rewind that for you in a minute. Look at how he switched from the right side to the left side. He knows where he's supposed to be now. And look at him dance when he's healing. He's trying to maintain my pace. Ozzy naturally would move a lot quicker. Okay, I'm not walking very fast here. I give him a little help with the leash and he switches over again. He's giving me a lot of eye contact, a lot of focus. So he's on the wrong side. I tell him to heal again and you can see he's trying to switch over. There he goes again. Very good. that face look again. I guess at this point I'm asking for it. Okay. So I call him back. He comes back in. See that little paw? It's like a puppy kind of move. Take off his leash. Call him back again. Now we go back into a heel. So, from muzzle and leash and big mess, but no more biting, most importantly, to no more muzzle, and now no more leash. His attentiveness is there. It's rock solid. His spirit, his attitude, he's following. I am so proud of this dog. He's come so, so far in not quite two weeks. I want to stress that. It's really been a short amount of time. 
That's my Aussie right there. So now we just we start to play. I can see he's feeling kind of spunky. All right, so he really responds. When I clap my hands, the minute I ramp up the excitement, he's like a big puppy. And I like that. And I don't mind that he's jumping on me because I'm initiating it. He's not jumping on me on his own. You can see there, he was kind of bouncy, but he didn't jump on me then. So it's when I initiate it. And I feel very strongly about this. I feel if you're going to work a dog hard, then you have to give him an outlet for his energy. And you have to really make him find the work pleasant and rewarding and find you to be a fair leader. So I always strive for that in my work. Fantastic dog. And there I am just playing Kianis Mas Macho with him. And here he comes for some more play. Right on Oz. Good job.